Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn here to show you how to mount your GPU vertically in the Lian Li O11 Mini V2. In this video, I'm going to show you the things you need to do in order to get your GPU to sit like this, just above those angled fans. First of all, you're going to watch out for that cardboard box that's included with the case, which has two important things in it. One is this bracket, which is the replacement for the standard PCIe bracket at the back of the case that allows you to mount vertically. Another point is that you need to make sure you've got a big screwdriver head for your screwdriver because I found that I shredded the screws with my smaller Phillips head screwdriver while trying to remove the standard bracketing. So you have to first of all remove the plastic clip below the motherboard I.O. And then what you want to do is remove these multiple screws around the edge of the standard bracket. So there's four screws there that need to be taken out and removed. Take care not to lose those screws because you are going to need them again in a minute. The standard bracket should then pull out with relative ease and can just be set aside. You will want the blanking plates from that though to use with the vertical mount. Then work out how a vertical mount fits into the case and what you'll find is that if you already have fans installed they might need to be moved. I found that I had to move the top rear exhaust fan up a bit and the bottom intake fans I had to shift them over to the right a little bit. So it's worth noting this beforehand if you're early on in your build don't install your fans too far over to the left on the bottom tray and too far down at the top because you'll basically find that they get in the way of the vertical bracket and you can't reinsert it. And it's worth knowing this before you get further into the steps of trying to put the graphics card in once that's mounted on there. Because as you can see, it's a lot more hassle because you have to take the bottom tray out in order to shift the fans over. So I want you to note that now because it will make your life easier. So with that done, you'll see that the bracket then fits into the rear of the case like this and I just test it make sure it fits before you go about the rest of the process don't install it just yet you're going to also need a riser cable I'm using Corsair's premium PCIe X16 riser cable for this other ones are available but this is a good one that I happen to have to hand it plugs into the top PCIe X16 slot where the GPU would normally plug into and then you need to tuck it away behind the graphics card at this stage, I'd also recommend removing the standard anti-sag bracket that's on the right-hand side here. You can unscrew that with the thumb screws and just pop it out of the way because you're not going to need it. The graphics card then mounts to the vertical bracket by hooking the little metal pins at the bottom into it. I'd suggest putting it somewhere in the middle like this so it's not too close to the motherboard backwards and not too close to the front at the front of it as well and also doesn't interfere with the bottom fans as a result. Then use the screws to re-secure it and you'll want to put the blanking plates on either side of the GPU so that the holes are filled in as well. So these go above and below in this instance and you take them out of the original plates, so the one that we took out of the back of the case, unscrew them from that and then pop them into this and then re-secure them with the screws that you'd taken out of there so that you can then put those in and fill in those holes and that will neaten things up and obviously prevent as much dust ingress into the system that way and just make things look a little neater. The other thing that was included in that cardboard accessories box is this, which is the vertical anti-sag bracket. So this provides support to your GPU when it's in this vertical setup. This mounts to the top of the fans on the bottom fan tray. It uses four screws that secure into the fan holes. And these are standard fan screws that are included with the plastic accessories box. And you secure it into these fans as you can see. It can then be adjusted because you can slide it backwards and forwards on its little track. So you can position it according to where your GPU is going to sit. And you can see you can adjust it like that. But you can also make it go up and down by using this front screw to basically adjust the height of it and then it will basically just push up below the GPU. So the next stage is then to insert your GPU into the riser cable. So put the connector in there, make sure that's fully seated into it, and then put it into the case with that vertical bracket mounting in where the original one came out of. And you can see that's pretty straightforward. Do make sure you tuck the riser cable away though. You can see I've hidden most of it away at the back behind the graphics card. And then you can run the power cable through the bottom of the case and up through that rubber grommet and then up behind the GPU and plug it in there. And there's plenty of space to do both these things to hide those cables away at the back. 
and then just adjust the vertical mount so it supports the bottom of the graphics card and holds it nicely in place. By the way, you can also mount an all-in-one cooler on the side and still have the tubes hidden behind the back there as well. So it is possible to do that if you want to. As you can see, the setup process for getting your GPU into that vertical position is pretty straightforward. As mentioned, you will need to buy a riser cable though, so a link to that Corsair one in the description down below and hopefully that will help. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks very much for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.